Imagine you get your new Ferrari and you got 20 miles stretch of, of highway and there's potholes everywhere. Like how confident are you gonna really test your Ferrari out? Now you put a paving truck in front of you, you got brand new asphalt and you got spotters out there so you're not gonna get deer, cops, whatever else might pop up. You're gonna hammer them. So you went to the 10X 360 and you guys used almost significant amount of your cash reserves. Yeah, when we decided to platform, we freaked out afterward. We signed on to it and Brandon said, let's blow it up. And we freaked out when we got home, but we knew we had to do it. And here and how we much are money? Today. How much money when you had to make the choice to spend several hundred thousand dollars, how much cash did you have sitting in the bank account when you made that choice? Well, we were cash flow positive, so we could, we could actually flow the cash, but we actually lost $126,000 that year. And yeah. We'll actually make a million dollars net this year. So, <laughs> so before working with us, you were three million in revenue, and you're basically break even. Pretty much. Right. You went to the 360. You started getting some uptick there. Then you platformed, and then in the platforming process, because we actually, it's I call it paving the road. Imagine you get your new Ferrari, and you got 20 miles stretch of, of highway, and there's potholes everywhere. Like how confident are you gonna really test your Ferrari out? Now you put a paving truck in front of you, you got brand new asphalt and you got spotters out there so you're not gonna get deer, cops, whatever else might pop up. You're gonna hammer on to the extent you're comfortable. Some of you it might be 100, some of you it might be 130 or some of us might have tested ourselves out at 188. But, don't know that guy. I was the past self not present self. Now my wife won't let me do it anymore. Just kidding. But the point is, is that you need to pave the highway, right? So we came in and started working with you guys paving the highway. So what are your revenues gonna be this year? We should end the year around 10 million. And I like to say this because when we went to GrowthCon, we were on the way there and we're like, if we can just build this business to 10 million, we just wanna build it to 10 million. And we left GrowthCon and we said, we can build it to 100 million and these guys are helping us do it. Yeah. And you got a million dollars of cash that you've generated. Right. That's Absolutely. sitting there. How good does it feel going home at night knowing that you've hit your cash reserve targets, you've got money to invest, you're building your business while you're becoming more profitable and building cash? Because this isn't just about chasing revenues. You heard the profit revenue vanity, profit sanity. We have an algorithm that we teach our business owners on how to generate the cash in order to build the proper cash reserves. And you guys are just following that plan to a T. So 10 million this year, a million bucks of cash in the bank. You sleep better at night? We do, yeah. yeah. And you can make much better decisions also. And you can start hiring the right people to really grow the company instead of worrying about chasing the money all the time. How does that feel when you're sitting there recruiting new people and you're like, yeah, we went from 3 million to 10 million and we're going to 100 million versus we're at 3 million, stuck at 3 million, trying to figure out how to make money at 3 million? Much better. And you can hire much better people too. Yeah, because see, they, people want to buy on to a bigger story where they can succeed inside of you. So incumbent on you to create that success, right? Very proud of you guys. And, and I know you're going to be our par founding partners when we launch the HVAC vertical. Let's go. So let's, Who's in HVAC? Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah.